Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at sample space diagrams. A sample space diagram helps us understand probability by listing all the possible outcomes. For example, in a game of Monopoly, two fair dice are rolled and the numbers on each dice are rolled together. We're going to draw a probability, probability sample space diagram for this. Then we're going to work out the probability of rolling a 7, then the probability of not rolling a 6, and then the probability of rolling a score higher than 9. Okay, so uh, we're going to draw a table like this, and this has uh, the top row, shows us all the possible uh, outcomes for the first dice, and the column, first column shows us all the possible outcomes for the second dice. For example, if the first dice rolls a 1 and the second dice rolls a 1, you can add those together uh, to get the score, which is 2. If uh, the first dice gets a f uh, 4 and the second dice gets a 5, you add them together and you get a 9. Finally, if you get a 2 and a 6, that will be an 8. And you fill in the probability sample space diagram like that. And if you did all of the numbers, you would get this here. Okay, and uh, that is a complete sample space diagram showing you all the possible scores you can get with two dice. Now you should notice that some numbers occur more than others. Uh, so let's look at the probability of scoring a 7. So there are six different ways of getting a 7 here. And those are highlighted in green. And so the 6 out of... Uh, uh, 36 possible outcomes. If you look at all the white squares, that is 36. So it's 6 out of 36. And if we simplify that fraction, we should get 1 out of 6. So the probability of getting 7 is 1 sixth, like that. Now question C, what is the probability of not scoring a 6? So uh, the prob uh, what we'll do is we'll work out the probability of scoring a 6 and then subtract that from 1. Because the probability of something not happening is 1 minus the probability of something happening. The probability of scoring 6 is 5 out of 36. Because there's 5 ways of it happening out of 36 possible uh, ways. The probability of it not being a 6 is 1 minus the probability of it being a 6. Which is 1 minus 5 over 36. 1 minus 5 out of 36 is 31 36 and that is the final answer the probability of not a 6 is 31 out of 36. what is the probability of scoring a number higher than 9 so let's highlight all the numbers bigger than 9 10 10 10 11 11 and 12 and here there are six ways of that happening out of 36 possible number uh, combinations 6 out of 36 is 1 out of 6 and the final answer is 1 out of 36. Okay, that's example one. Let's have a look at example two. The two below fair spinners are spun. Draw a sample space diagram for this. Then we're going to work out the probability of getting the same colour on both spinners. The spinners are spun 14 times. How many times would you expect to see at least one spinner land on red? Okay, so we draw a sample space diagram like this. And we will fill it in blue and blue, blue and red, blue and green, blue and yellow, red and blue, red and red. And we continue filling in all the combinations on this sample space diagram. And that is the sample space diagram drawn. Now, what is the probability of getting the same colour on both spinners? So it's blue, blue, red or red, and green and green. Uh, well, there's three options out of 12 possible combinations. So 3 out of 12 is the same as 1 out of 4. Now, the spins are spun 14 times. How many times would you expect to get at least uh, one red? So let's highlight all the times you get at least one red. At least means one red or more. So you could get two reds as well. That also counts. So I've highlighted in red all the combinations that have one red. And there are 6 out of 12 options. 6 out of 12 is the same as 1 half. So the probability of getting at least one red is 1 half. But it says we're going to do it 14 times. 
So all we'll do is do 14 times a half, and that is 7. Uh, so to predict the number of times something will happen, multiply the, the probability by the number of trials. Multiply the probability by the number of times you try uh, the uh, experiment. 14 times a half is 7, and you would expect it to happen 7 times. And that is the final answer. Okay, I hope you found today's video helpful. Uh, you can rewind the video and watch it as many times as you want. But if you're ready to try some practice questions, you've got this one on the screen for you to try. Uh, so pause the video now and see if you can get this correct. It should take you about uh, five minutes to do this and you're going to reveal the answers if you're ready in three, two, one. Okay, uh, did you get it correct? Let me down, uh, know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember we have more videos coming every week. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.